The University District Bridge is one step closer to construction, but some people think it's a bridge to nowhere. That pedestrian bridge would span the BNSF railroad tracks just west of Sherman at Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and connect to East Riverside south of the tracks. KXY 4's Aaron Luna working for you to bring you the latest progress on that bridge and where the city is looking for funding. University District Bridge would basically cross the railroad tracks about 100 yards to my right. The planning for the bridge has been in the works for quite some time. However, the funding for the bridge hasn't been nailed down. Early designs show an expansive bridge that spans 370 feet across the BNF railroad tracks and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The city has already bought a business along Sprague to connect the bridge to Sherman Avenue. The project is designed to connect the U District to Sprague and pave the way for the revitalization of the area. So far, the city spent $3.1 million provided by the state for the design and right-of-way purchase. The city says bids for the project haven't been received, but the construction range would be between $6.6 .6 and $7.9 million. The majority of it typically comes from a state or federal source, either at 80 or 87.5% there, and the rest comes from a local source. Uh, typically for road projects, we have the arterial street fund to, to cover that cost. For this project, University District revitalized area funds would be utilized. Basically, the taxes raised in the U District area or the UDRA boundary, uh, instead of going to the state, the state has allowed it to come back to the area to be used for seed money like for this bridge. Opponents of the bridge have called it a bridge to nowhere. Others say the cost is ridiculous. Some question why anyone would want a bridge that connects to East Sprague. WSU says it's perfect for students in the health science field to commute to and from the hospital district and have been working with the city on design and bridge upkeep. Safety and security, those kinds of access issues as it relates and, and then what role will WSU have in maintaining the bridge on a day-to-day -day operations in conjunction with the city. The city says it will soon be shovel ready for the project and is now waiting on financing. The city will host a public workshop for anyone interested in finding out more information on the University District Bridge. For information on that, time and date, head to KXLY.com. Click on the News Links tab. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXLY 4 News.